Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month. April 2021 in regards to love and romance. How are you guys doing, Aries? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope things are going swell. All right, let's see what's coming for you for the remaining of this month in regards to love and romance. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the Queen of Pentacles. You may be dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This also represents you looking to solidify something. So it could be you wanting, um, searching, uh, really trying to figure out. Um, I think that you're getting to a point, Aries, where you feel like you're getting ready to or you feel prepared enough to settle down or to look for a relationship that is consistent or something that is going to be long term. And I feel that for some of you guys, this could be an energy that has been changing and progressing as we move forward. So very beautiful energy. The next card here is the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the energy of the person of your interest or the energy that they're taking on. Maybe water energy, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do see Earth here, so you may be dealing with water or Earth energy. However, this is a person that is emotionally available or they've become emotionally available. So this could be almost like a situation. We have two queens here. So for some of you guys, you may actually be feeling like you are or have been dealing with two different people. Um, trying to figure out I see you guys really wanting to make a decision in regards to something long term when we're talking about love when we're talking about relationships uh, the queen of pentacles can also represent grounding so for some of you guys it's that you are looking to ground some type of connection or to manifest some type of longevity in this connection queen of cups just represents the person or the person of your interest the person that you're dealing with is emotionally available or will be becoming emotionally available by the end of this month um, for some they could be coming out of some type of healing type of energy where now they're more receptive they're more open to love or they feel like they're ready uh, to embrace new love now the relationship itself is the five of cups so yeah I feel that the person that you may be dealing with or have been dealing with perhaps was still going through some type of loss or mourning some type of relationship it could have been almost a feeling like, you know, not really knowing where you stand with them. This could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. However, the Five of Cups does represent looking at what's been spilled, looking at what's been lost. And this is where uh, the relationship or the energy of the relationship is transforming at the present time. So if you can see in the Five of Cups... They're looking at the cups that are spilled, but in the back, you see two other cups, which is two options. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with two different people. For others, it could just represent uh, that the person that you have had your eye on or have been interested in, perhaps in the past, wasn't emotionally available or they just weren't really looking for anything long term because they're still going through some type of uh, healing or pulling away of a relationship. Now, the advice here is the five of wands. Aries, I feel that this is like people trying to get your attention. This is people coming towards you. This is options is what they're telling me. So I feel that the remaining of the month is going to be very prominent for you because you're going to often put yourself or find yourself being put in a situation where people keep coming into your life or being presented to you. It's like they're telling me where there's been lack of movement in regards to love all of a sudden people are going to be very drawn to you or trying to get your attention. Five of Wands can also represent um, really trying to, there's almost like this feeling of I don't want to change or I don't want to lose myself. Maybe that's why you haven't gotten into a relationship in the past or a long-term committed relationship. However, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an earth energy and I feel that this person is like, is getting a lot of like, Okay, so what they're telling me is if you are dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, what they're saying is right now in alignment, um, Venus is really amplifying their energy. 
So you may feel like you're in competition or you may feel like this person has a lot of people, a lot of options as well. And I feel that you feel a strong connection with this person, but for some of you guys, you still haven't moved on from a water sign. Um, and that's what's holding you back. But what they're telling you is you don't want to miss this opportunity, Aries, because the five of wands to me indicates a person that people are fighting to try to get their attention only because it's underneath the queen of pentacles. I feel very strongly like you have competition. So if you let this earth energy pass you by, or if you're feeling like you're not sure what it is that you want from them, you're hesitant about it, you're going to let an amazing opportunity pass you by. Only because I feel that this queen of pentacles is very grounded. This is a person that is very strong in their power. They know exactly who is who it is that they are. This is a person that, like, it's a grown person. It's a grown man or a grown woman that knows exactly what they want, what they deserve, and they're not going to settle for anything less. So if you've been mediocrely giving them attention, know and understand that you're not going to be the only person they're dealing with only because they're not into that BS. If you put them in the back burner, they're going to show you the long line they have of people waiting uh, to get their attention. The likely outcome is the 10 of pentacles, earth energy again. So I feel that there is an earth energy around you. This is a person that you can build structure with. This is a person that you can build a solid foundation, something that has the potential for long-term commitment. This is no fuck girl or fuck boy type of energy. This is a grown person that knows exactly what it is that they want. What they're telling you, Aries, you need to let go of the past. You need to pull away from the past or understand that if it didn't work out in the past with the, with the previous person, it's not going to work out. So you're wasting your time. You are letting opportunities pass you by and you may be preventing yourself from experiencing a healthy, long-lasting relationship. So um, the advice here is basically don't let that shit pass you by, Aries, because you feel like you're not sure, because you feel like you're not emotionally ready for some type of commitment. What they're telling you is that the stars are aligning right now uh, to bring to you full manifestation of the happiness that you deserve. We have hands of time. This is waiting to grow old with you. Again, I feel very strongly like this energy that's coming through is a person that um, is not looking for something temporary. This is a person that if they tell you they're going to be there, they're going to be there. If they tell you that you can count on them, you can count on them. You can call them at eight in the morning, five in the morning. They're going to answer. This is a person that puts as much effort as you're willing to put. So again, if you are dealing or will be dealing um, throughout this month with an earth energy, what they're telling you here is put the effort in. It's going to be worth it in the end. Let go of the past. Let go of that person that hurt you or continuously keeps making you feel like there is instability. You don't know where you stand with them. You're just wasting your time. All right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you insight, understanding, wisdom, and knowledge, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.